Hi, welcome to my channel Data Engineering and to my website a2zknowledge.com. So today we are going to discuss about hash partition in Spark. So before explaining hash partition, I just wanted to explain you a few more things and then we can go ahead with what is hash partition and uh, I request you to watch the complete video so that you will understand better. Uh, okay, so let me get into the topic. So in general, so like uh, we will be having any massive parallel processing technology, you go MPP technology like MapReduce or Spark or any other uh, massive parallel processing technology, you will be having two phases. One is the parallelism part and then aggregation part, right? So in traditional map reduce term, if I want to say, so you will be having map part and then finally you will be having the reducer part. Okay, so this is parallelism, this is aggregation. Okay, fine. So even in Spark also we have the same, so the parallelism part and then the aggregation part. So you have these two things. So here, so we can call this as an input task and we can call this as an output task. So now the question is number of input task is based on what? Okay, the answer is number of, if, if your source is HDFS for Spark, then the answer is number of blocks is equal to number of task. Okay, now, so this particular rule is always mandatory and is it possible to uh, change it? Yes, that is possible. So even if, so if you have two blocks, then your input task for Spark is two. But if I have two blocks, but I need my input task as three, yes, you can do. Or even my input block is two, but I need my task as one. You can still do that, but we are not going to see that in this video. So I just wanted to say like something else. So uh, so this particular uh, in this video, just you can as of now, you can just uh, keep in your mind that number of block equal to number of task. OK, fine. But this is customizable. But default is number of block equal to number of task. And same similar to that output task. OK, number of output task count is based on what in Spark number of input task count equal to number of output task count. So that is what default in Spark, but in default in map reduces one. Okay, irrespective to the input task in map reduce, your output task will be one. And even in map reduce, you can change it by setting job dot set num reduce task you can change. And in Spark, you can use it, uh, you can use repartitions and collage to increase and decrease your output partitions. That is possible. But f as I told you already in this video, just we can uh, keep this in mind. The rule uh, for output task is number of input task count equal to number of output task count. Okay. Now, so I'm, I'm, I'm having like uh, uh, two tasks, input task. So my output task going to be two here. Now I'm going to do a word count program. So my input is hi, hi, hi. And then I have hello, hello, and then welcome. Okay. So here, this particular file is going to split into two because my block is two blocks, as I told you. So here, the first, uh, so a set of partition goes to this, one set of partition goes to this input task and one set of partition goes to this input task. So here, hi, and then hi, and then welcome goes to this particular uh, task, uh, input task. And the remaining uh, part files, partition file, uh, like we have one more hi, right, and then two hello. Okay, okay. So hi and two hello goes to this task, this input task, and then hi two hi and one welcome goes to here. So I'm going to do some word count operation like flat map map and all those uh, blah blah stuff. So output of this particular uh, um, uh, task will be hi one, hi one, and then welcome one. This is this will be your output from map uh, map task right of uh, word count. So same here, hi one, hello one and then hello one now i am going to do the aggregation the sum uh, uh, if i want to say in a syntax wise reduce by key i am going to do this reduce by key to bring the output like hi three welcome one hello two is my final output right so now now what will happen right so spark will decide which set of uh, output has to go to which output task so which set of uh, input tasks output goes to which uh, output task so that will be decided by spark okay now imagine like uh, high goes to this this output task so these two high goes here and this high goes here and then welcome and hello goes here okay so your output will be so high three and then 
so hi three okay that's all so the remaining thing goes to this task so that means hello two welcome is one so this will be your output that means you will see two output files because your number of reducer task is two so your output files will be two okay so now the question is who decides hi has to go to first reducer that means this one first output task who decides hi goes to this particular output task and hello and welcome should go to this particular task who decides it spark will decide spark use an algorithm called a hash partition to decide which particular output goes to which node which particular output partition goes to which particular output task node so that is decided by spark by using hash partition now if you wanted to uh, uh, do it like this okay i need hi and welcome here only hello here and that means you you are you have to customize the partition okay so how to write a custom partition is going to be my next video so in this video we we have to know what how this hash partition works okay that is what i am going to explain you so since we are not writing any custom partition the spark itself decides uh, like which particular output partition has to which particular node with the help of this hash partition okay now i just wanted to show you the same in practical as well so for what i explained i i, I just wanted to show you in practical so let me uh, run a word count program and then i have a out I, I'm, I'm just going to save my output as word out in my local let me run this okay so i'm doing all this word count stuff and if you see like all these are uh, uh, parallelism uh, transformation and finally this is your shuffle transformation which is your output transformation and this all your input transformation if you want to know like how many input task and how many output tasks got created yeah i will show you that so my input so this is my first transformation like i'm reading a file so what i'm going to do i'm going to get the number of partition which got created for reading the file it is two so that means your input task is two then obviously your output task is going to be two that also we can check so reduce data dot get num partition okay okay two so that means your output files will be two files because your output partition is two so that your output files will be two files let me open this you can see here there is two output files part type n r 000 is the first partition part type n r 001 is the second partition so parts file starts from zero okay and you can see here hello and welcome is in part first part 000 okay and then in the second part file hi okay now again the same question so who decides that first part file should have hello and welcome and who decides second part file should have hi why not uh, welcome in second partition and why not hi in first partition so because we haven't written any custom partition so spark itself uses a partition algorithm to decide the location of uh, the keys in your output files and spark uses an algorithm called hash partition so now we going to see what is the internal mechanism of hash partition okay so this is an interview question that people are asking even in interviews and and map reduce also use the same hash partition algorithm actually so some people like still they have the confusion of explaining this hash partition so that's why i just made this video so what is the for, uh, algorithm name hash partition okay now what is the formula that what is the algorithm okay hash of the key hash of the key mod of mod of means like this one okay symbol this is the mod symbol number of output task count okay so here what is your output task count and i showed you right it is 2 okay and hash key okay now what what is your uh, uh, what is mean by key so we had this right hi out, ma mapper output like the first parallelism transformation output right so hi 1 hi 1 and then hello one hello one and then welcome one okay so here this is your key and this is your value okay so here this is your key and this is your value so that means hash of the key hash value of the key okay so here 
so we have three high so you will be having the same keys will have same hash value that's a point to remember always and then hello will have a hash key and welcome will have the hash key now we don't know what is the hash key so i'm going to generate a number on my own okay so before that i will just see the output okay hi is in second partition okay so now I'm going to generate this number. So this is my, I'm generating on my own. So this is a purely a predicted value. It's not something uh, uh, given by your spark or something like that. Don't get confused. Okay. So I'm generating this value just to drive this uh, algorithm. Okay. So here I'm giving uh, the number as one, two, one, seven, one. Okay. And for hello, I'm giving as 278. And then for welcome, I'm going to give uh, like 1078. Okay, so as I told you, it's a predicted value. Now, what is the hash of the key for high? For high, it is uh, 12171. And what is mod here? Mod of 2. That means, so when you divide a number, 12171 and 2, when you divide a number, you, are, you will be getting a reminder, right? So this reminder is what mod value? Okay, so the reminder is what mod value? So when your denominator is 2, any number it can be any number it can be but when your denominator is 2 what will be the possible remainders it is 0 and 1 that is a mathematical rule and when your denominator is 3 what is your possible uh, remainders 0 1 2 and so on so if your denominator is 4 0 1 2 3 it 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 won't be more than that okay it won't be more than that it won't be more than your denominator value the remainder will not come like that okay fine so now if you divide, when your denominator is 2, any even numbers that you divide, what will be your remainder? 0. When your, two, when your denominator is 2, any even number divisible by 2 is 0. Any odd number divisible by 2 is 1. Okay. And that means here the remainder, so this is your odd number. So that means your remainder is obviously 1. So the output is 1. Okay. Now next, hello. For hello, the number is 278, again mod of 2. So any even number divided by uh, 2 is 0. The remainder will be 0, obviously. And then for welcome, uh, it's going to be 1078. Again, it's an even number. So when it's mod of 2, then obviously 0. So now, what this 100, zero, zero, this output denotes what? Okay, I'm going to tell you that. So this output denotes the position of the output task that means so this one denotes the first sorry this zero denotes the first partition your output partition and one denotes the second output partition and you can see here so the remainder of high is one so that's the reason high is in first partition I mean second partition so the partition starts from 0 1 so this is your first partition this is your second partition okay so the remainder of high is 1 and that means this high and the value has, has to go to second part file this is your second part file and for hello and welcome the remainder is 0 so it has to go to first partition and that's the reason it goes to first partition and this is what the algorithm that spark uses to decide which output partition has to go to which file okay so this is what it is so here uh, the spark internally does this so uh, so it is not it's the data is skewed right so it's not eventually distributed and that's the reason we go for uh, a custom partition so that is something i'm going to explain you in the next video so here from the output what i have decided right so hash key is something that i have generated but what the confirmation i got from the output is so hello and welcome had some hash key which i was not aware of but it should be an even number that i know because that's the reason hello and welcome has came to first partition that i know because I, I i know whether it's an even or odd number that i know very clearly so since it comes to first partition i come to know the denominator is two and the hash key is going to be for sure it's going to be an even number that's why the the number what i have given the predicted number i have given that as an even numbers here and that that's the only thing the confirmation what i got is i know like what will be the uh, uh, end number so based on that i have decided this i can give any even numbers here and then for second, I, I'm surely know that 
this particular number uh, the high hash key is going to be odd number because uh, it came to the second partition the remainder is one so obviously i know this is an odd number and that's why my predicted value is an odd number here that's the only thing okay don't get confused and sometimes people used to ask me whether by increasing and decreasing the uh, the partitions will uh, uh, fix the issue like uh, means people used to ask me like this if i increase my number of reducer then can i uh, uh, decide my uh, uh, data has to go to which partition can i decide that by increasing the partition no the question is not making sense right even you increase or decrease still you can't decide which particular output file should have which particular key that you cannot decide even when you increase maybe by increasing you will have some you will end up with some empty partitions also okay i will show you that also as an example now what i'm going to do i'm going to increase my partition okay so here Okay, so here I'm going to change my output directory as one and here I'm going to make a repartition. That means I'm going to increase my partition to three. Okay, so now like you will be having three part files, but still I don't have a clue that which record goes to which file. Okay, let's see. I don't have a clue. Okay, so let me open my word output one and I, I can see three files, but I don't know which file will have what key value and you can see here hello is in first partition now the denominator is changed that is important now your denominator is three okay so when you when your denominator is three what are all the possible remainders zero one two see zero one two that's all so and you can see the empty partition first part file is empty that means for the given uh, hash key there is no remainder zero got created so all the remainders for hi, hello, welcome was one and two. That's it. And that's the reason your first part file is empty. So that is empty partitions got created. So skewness will be there. Empty partitions will be there if you go for hash partition. And that's a disadvantage. And that's the reason we go for custom partition. But still, even though this is a disadvantage, why I have uh, made this video, we need to know what is the internal mechanism of hash partition and how Spark decides it. So like, in, even in the interview, they are asking this. So that's the reason I'm just giving this uh, video for you. And this is what has partition and the MapReduce also use the same algorithm and the same Spark is also using. So thanks for watching a2zknowledge.com and my channel Data Engineering. And uh, if you really like this video, please do subscribe to the channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues. We do a lot of tech videos in two languages, English and Tamil. And I have one more YouTube channel called Startup Idea. I need all your support for the channel. And then like, uh, if you want to contact me, I have given my Instagram and LinkedIn URL in the description box. If you want to see the complete big data videos, I have given the playlist links in the description box where you can get my videos. Once again, thanks for watching.